Well, sweet Stevie Aaron, along with the twisted genius himself, Dean Eas, for what should be a spectacular show, as brought to you as always by Warn PW. This is Fight Club 2, Dean, and it's a great to be here once again. Oh, yes, yeah, Stevie, good to be here, albeit, well, I would say it's good to be here, but actually, that kind of thing fit. We're in Barnsley, but never oh, mind. come on. We can't have it all your own way, but we should have one heck of an opening six man contest. It's, uh, well, I was going to say it's Britain v. America, but 1PW represented by one man from Eternia, one man from Canada, and one man from Mexico. But <laughs> I guess well, it just shows you the uh, the international flavour of 1PW. I guess it does. These three men representing the UK here, though. And we've got another member of Team PWG in the ring right now. What the hell? <laughs> What the hell is going on? I don't know. I, I was told this was a straight three on three. Um, I, I didn't know this was an intergender match is what I'm trying to say, team. What is this idiot doing in the ring with an inflatable doll? That's Top Gun Talawa. I'm not sure what the doll is, but what her name is. But what the re what, what's the referee doing? Checking for uh, foreign objects, I guess, but... I'll tell you something, she's still probably the best looking woman in Barnsley. Tonight. Oh, come on. Cheap shots already from the Twisted Genius. And we're ready to kick things off right now with interpromotional six man tag team action. And you see Dragon Aizu is the only guy on Team 1PW with a bad attitude, it seems. And a nice drop kick there from Top Gun. Oh, and he's just using that doll as a weapon, Dean. I think that's the first time I've ever heard that sentence used in a wrestling match, and I'm hoping it's the last. Well, there's an Irish whip, nice reversal from Dragon Aizu, but he's the one down on the mat right now. Top Gun Talwa is the much bigger man here. What is he wearing and what is he doing? I'm not sure. This, this is a very strange individual, and you see the trip from Dragon Aizu off the ropes. Seen this before. Oh! I thought he was going to go for a neck breaker. There it is. But he set him up first. Nothing pretty about the boot to the face, Dean Ass. Not pretty, but very effective. But interesting point that you uh, touched on earlier. How well are Team 1PW going to get along? Because Well, here we go. He's an early cover and just a two count there. How well are they going to get on? Because, as you said, they're uh, not necessarily all on the same page. And, of course, cast your mind back to uh, know your enemy and these three guys were involved in the um, six man match six way match I should say that opened up know your enemy that's so absolutely right yes they're used to being on opposite sides of the ring rather than on the same side well now you see dark side in the ring and this young man he's had great um, oh what, what is going on Scorpio Sky busted all the dance moves there Dark Side's had great success in ta tag team competition, sorry, in the Scottish wrestling scene, I understand. Yeah, I mean, he is more of a uh, tag team specialist, but his usual partner in Team 2K, Wolfgang, not here tonight. He is taking part uh, individually uh, rather than as part of that team. And he hooks up with, with Scorpio Sky, who looks very impressive, great shape. And uh, let's see what this guy can do in the ring. Well, at the moment... He has succumbed to a wrist lock from Dark Side, but look at this beautiful reversal there. Nice shades of uh, shades of the old British wrestling Johnny Saint move there, spinning out of the top wrist lock on the floor and reversing it into an armbar of his own. Nice move from Scorpio Sky. Didn't I see him in Desperate Housewives? I, I, I wouldn't know about that, Dean. I, I don't watch that show. But you, you mentioned British wrestling. It's very much uh, Britain against America there. Nice British-style dropkick from Darkseid. But look at that. Straight back on the offense from Scorpio Sky, grounding Darkseid in the uh, headlock takeover. But Darkseid back to the offense. And you see the disadvantage of having long hair right there into the ropes. Down goes Scorpio Sky. Darkseid trying to get the fans behind him. We do have PWG fans here tonight. Misses the drop kick, but Scorpio misses the elbow drop, and now both men still mate there. Goes from behind, perhaps looking for an early pin. Nice leapfrog from Scorpio Sky, and a oh. beautiful drop kick. Got him right in the face there, I think, Dean. Beautiful elevation from Scorpio Sky. Did you see the way he got up there and stayed up in the air? 
and he's certainly not lacking in confidence, but that's really shaken, uh, shaken up dark side. And we just got a brief shot on the outside of the pale rider, Gabriel Gray, who, well, he's not managing this team, but rather Dragon Aizu, his personal advisor, and in comes the UK luchador, El Liguero, and it's masked man against masked man in the first contest here. Uh, Fight Club 2 off the ropes, let's see who's the fastest in this one. I wish some of the members of this audience were wearing masks, I tell you that's Oh silly. come on, nice leapfrog there from El Liguero, over the top goes Phoenix Star. What's oh, be beautiful clothesline but he landed on his feet and now both men with the reverse knife edges from El Liguero. It's fast and furious in the early goods, nice Hurricanrana and now Trying to get his bearing, where's he going? Ducks the clothesline, off the ropes. And it looks like we're going to see a flying head scissors. Satellite head scissors, I'll tell you something, that that clothesline that actually landed Phoenix though on his feet, I think we had a bit of a delayed reaction because that allowed El Liguero to get in a flurry of offense uh, against Phoenix Star, who's still recovering from that shot to the, to the, uh, the face and the neck. But you're seeing it from behind there. On the apron, he's seen a bit of offense from Scorpio Sky, and now nice spine buster there from Phoenix Star makes the tag to the much bigger Top Gun Talawa. And in comes the NASA. And look at this double teaming from Team PWG. They are the more established promotion to a lot of fans watching, no doubt. A lot of fans are perhaps more un more familiar with uh, the wrestlers from PWG here. And a big clothesline in the corner that time. A very vocal individual, Top Gun Tawa, shouting his head off, but a great move there. Well, he got him right in the shoulder. And look at this cocky cover from Top Gun Tawa. Well, that's not going to win you any matches, Stevie, let's face it. But uh, a, a kind of a, a spear, well, Nagero was on his knees. I've not seen a move like that before. Top Gun Talawa may, may require assistance from somebody like yourself, Dean Eas, the twisted genius, obviously uh, with your managerial experience. i tell you something, I wouldn't go near him with a 10-foot pole. He looks a bit, uh, a bit of an odd one to me. <laughs> well, right now, Team PWG, like I said, P PWG has obviously been around slightly longer than 1PW. PWG making their debut in July of 2003. Uh, 1PW, of course, their debut show was October 1st last year. And like I said, we've got a lot of PWG fans in the crowd this evening. Well, you've got one of the fastest growing promotions in the United States taking on what is without a doubt the fastest growing promotion in the UK. And He's a cover, PW. Dean. Sorry to cut you off. Just a two count there. And El Liguero has had success all over Europe, let's not forget. And trying to make his name here in 1PW. And look at this again. Cocky tactics uh, from the members of Team PWG. And we've got a clean break that time. From Scorpio Sky, now in the corner with El Liguero. UK Luchador who originally is from Mexico, but making his name here in 1PW. Now on the shoulders, falls behind, a nice drop kick to the back of the leg there. Now off the ropes, what's he going for? Nicely done there. Well, Scorpio Sky had the kicks covered, and I guess that was a double bluff because El Liguero thinking on his feet there. Great move. Look at this reversal. What a stunner. Oh, wheelbarrow stunner I guess I guess so and oh but Scorpio Sky twists it around with a twisting backbreaker there and now what's he going for he goes for it again just drives the back and that's the uh, disadvantage that's the disadvantage just uh, wait for the cover there of being a lighter man because uh, Ligero definitely giving away about you know 20 30 pounds in weight to Scorpio Sky and it looked like Darkseid was going to get in the ring and help his partner out. Well, well El Liguero really does need to get out of there. He's been in a long time. The, uh, the PWG guys, they are working well as a unit. They're teaming up. We've got the two lightest guys in the match in here now in El Liguero and Phoenix Star. But he really does need to get out of there and get Dragon Isu or uh, Darkseid in. Because at the moment, 
El Ligero is taking quite a beating. But on that time, because he got the boot up to the face, and again, and now ducks the clothesline, a nice super kick. Now hopefully that will give El Ligero the, the breather he needs to get over to make that tag. He's in the right, kind, well, he's kind of in the right area of the ring, could be a bit further over, but at least he's not right in the uh, opponent's corner. And he's now crawling slowly to uh, our team position here where the Team 1PW well, guys we've, are. Well, there we've got a tag from both teams. Here comes Top Gun Taloa and that mystery tag team partner, I guess. Nice drop kick again from Dark Side. And now he's trying to encourage, well, in comes Scorpio Sky. But that one didn't pay off and he tastes a drop kick too. Getting the fans behind him is Dark Side. He's definitely getting some momentum going now. And a huge knee lift into the corner there. And Scorpio Sky holding the face, and rightly so. And I think Darkside's going to do the same thing in the opposing corner to Top Gun Talwa. Do you see the look on Top Gun Talwa's eyes as glazed over, and he looks to be in trouble. Now using the ropes. I've oh, seen this before. Yes. Oh, oh, that's horrible. I believe he calls that the darkest stomp. Very dark. I wouldn't like to be on the receiving end of that. Well, now, dark side. Again, getting the fans behind him. And now there's another one to Top Gun Talawa. And look at that. He just jumps over the, the guardrail into the crowd. The momentum took him straight over into the guardrail, Stevie. And that just shows you the velocity that this guy is traveling at when he hits you in the face. How painful must that be? Dragon Aizu getting back on the apron. I don't know how much he cares about this much. Oh, come on. Talwa using that doll as, as a hostage, it seems. And Darkseid, I can't believe he's ask, actually asking the fans if he should hit the doll, but now he's got it. What, what's he going to do? I have absolutely no idea. Well, he, he's rubbing the top of the head, and it looks like we've got a battering ram there. And another one. This, this is kind of surreal, Stevie. You could say that. And now what, is he talking to the doll? What, I don't know what she's saying, but it looks like we, well, he, he's going to gorilla press the doll. Perhaps um, over the top on a Top Gun Tower. And I can't believe I'm actually getting excited about that. We've got a fan in the front row going nuts. Well, what does that say when you and that fan of the guys getting excited over an inflatable doll, Stevie? I uh, say no more. Once again, Dark Side getting the fans behind him. And it looks like you might be. Oh, wait a minute. He was cut off in the ring. Stopped dead in his tracks. Oh, no. the top to the outside. Caught dead in his tracks by Scorpio Sky. And it's Scorpio Sky who flies over. We've got bodies everywhere. And a doll. And a doll as well, yes. And you see Gabriel Gray on the outside. And and I, sorry, I, uh, I think Darkseid is going to join in the melee and I, fly I think himself. So. And now Gabriel Gray is over there. He's involved as well. He's going to take out everybody. Oh, Top Gun Talwa pushed him in to the throng of bodies. You don't do that. He hasn't interfered in this match once. Well, I'll tell you something now. If Gabriel Gray nails Top Gun Talwa with that cane, Top Gun Talwa has deserved well, it. Keep your eyes on Phoenix Star. He's going to fly as well over the top. Using the top rope, actually for the plancha dive and now we've got El Aguero and does he even know where he is? Oh and then there was one and yet he does know where he is because he's just spotted a sea of bodies for him to dive onto and it's Christmas day even though it's red hot in July here in 1PW and it looks like El Aguero is going to fly he's on the top somersault plancha Stevie Aaron wow that there was some impact there was some impact just look at this look we've got six bodies several seven if you count gabriel gray seven and bodies. eight if you count the doll yeah <laughs> i mean 
and this is the first match of the night. What's the rest of tonight going to be like? I, I, mean, I have no idea. You look down the card tonight, we've got Iceman and Martin Stone, we've got Park and Teddy Hart, we've got Steve Carino and, and Doug Williams, we've got so much going on. This is just the beginning of what's going to be a tremendous night here at the Barnsley Metrodome. And both men in the ring right now, Dragon Izu and Scorpio Sky, just backed into each other. And I'm not sure what Izu's saying, I can't quite hear him, but reverse knife edge chop. He's telling him to bring it on. We've got a we've got a chop fight in the middle of the ring. Well, Dragon Ice, who likes to uh, consider himself a, a master of chops, and oh, I've, I've seen this, is, this is just going to raise his ire by Scorpio Sky firing back like this. But Ice, getting the better of uh, Sky, and there's the banded multiple chops from Dragon Ice. You don't mess with J Dragon Ice. I know, I felt that, believe it or not. Oh, look at that! Half Nelson suplex! He came right down on the back of his head! Stevie, he landed square on his head. He's holding his head, and I don't think we're going to see Scorpio Sky for the rest oh, of this match. Fist, fist. We might not see Dragon Izu after that one. Definitely not. And he really looks in trouble. He's holding his head and writhing in pain. And now we've got Darkseid cutting off Phoenix Star. He's going to go up top again. Incredible action in the early golf DDT. Beautiful swinging DDT off the top. Lands Phoenix Star square on his head. And I think Darkseid is going to try and end this with a Versa Breaker. No. The Verta Breaker. The darkest driver. But it didn't pay off that time. You see Phoenix Star. With a goal behind, nice reversal from Darkseid though. And he's trying to hit a suplex it seems. Oh, he's got him locked. Dragon suplex! Great bridge, great elevation. He held he held uh, Phoenix Star in the air for ages there and trying to take out Top Gun Talwa, but too late for uh, Darkseid to make the cover there. But you know, good vision, he saw that he wasn't going to be able to make the pin. Well, he no. may make the pin right now on Phoenix Star. He's got him up. He's going to hit this. What he calls a darkest oh. driver. The wow. fans are going nuts, but he's taking too much time. He should be pinning him right now. And I'm not even sure who the legal man is. Once again, Top Gun Talwar interfering to break the pin attempt. Oh, look at that. What a great reversal from Top Gun Talwa. And now El Aguero's back in the ring. And it looked like he went for the DDT that time. Using the ropes as leverage. And now over the top, he lands on his feet. Off the ropes. He goes for it a second time and he hits it. He hits it. That's going to end it. That's going to be the finish. Two, three. He wins the match. That's it. It's all over. And Team 1PW claim the victory. And they uh, are the victors of the first match. And it's gonna, that's going to be a good boost for this company because let's face it, losing the opener to PWG, what kind of what kind of a mood would that put the rest of this crowd in? I mean, we've seen enough defeats for one day today, Steve. England out of the World Cup, but at least one PW puts a bit of pride back into the English fans here with the victory.